Welcome back guys and girls to another episode of Dad's Toy Garage and we're working on Project Judithan today. It's a 1973 Toyota Celica. We've got it painted and I'm going to be showing you guys get part of it will be getting this tail panel done. A little preview here and uh, talked about in the title getting your chrome vinyl wrapped and I'll show you why I opted for vinyl wrap instead of painting it. So we'll get into that and there's a couple other things happening in this video. So sit back, enjoy the video, and let's get some fun stuff done. Decided I would get the spoiler installed, or at least a couple bolts to hang it in place. All right guys, here's the tail lights. You can see they're kind of dull. I brought home a polishing stuff. They lent it to me from work. So I'm going to be using this guy, the wool pad. And we will start with, I have two compounds here. We'll see how it looks after this one. This is the Phoenixa base polish. I think it's POL 10. And I may end up doing with the foam pad. This is like a finishing swirl mark polish perfected stage two. So guys, just to show you how the difference of shine is, I did a quick polish here versus here. It's just the wool pad and the Phoenixa polish. So we're going to hit the whole thing with that. It'll look really good. All right, boys and girls, there's the before and after. So we know it works. And I did end up going with this guy and the foam pad on the end, but it worked really good. Got the Camaro marker lights on. I think they look really good for the car. There's the front ones. I like the size of them. They're a lot nicer than something big and bulky. Got my mirror on. I wanted a round mirror. I kind of like that. I just want to say thank you to Mac at Steel Tree. Uh, hooked me up with this vinyl material. We got this for the hood louvers. It's kind of like the charcoal that the factory would have had. And this for the tail panel. So that is vinyl. And I think the one is 3M and the other one is Avery. And they're saying they like Avery best. But uh, they had this in the 3M. And so we're going to install, try installing this on the tail panel. So here's first try doing stencil. We'll see how it goes. And this is the center section of the rear tail panel. After watching a couple YouTube videos on how to vinyl wrap, I went for it. You get a couple little spots in here like this and this. Those are the pitting underneath um, in the actual chrome material. But that's done. We can put the GT badge on there. We can do the, and we'll do the lights now. So I've got them wrapped in vinyl. I'm not sure if it's a long-term solve, but I'm gonna try it out and see how well it works. It looks good right now. So these are the taillight bezels. I just finished up the restoration on the parts for the tail end of the car. The lights are polished, the black is done, and that's some vinyl I picked up from a local vinyl shop and a badge from a fellow Instagrammer. So, it's looking pretty sharp. I'm pretty happy with how everything is turning out here. Well, we got the rear tail panel and tail lights installed and it looks superb. I'm very happy with that. All right guys, here's a before and after comparison. And I'm just using gray vinyl or charcoal, whatever you want to call it. And I left out this part here, so it's still chrome. Wrap job is done on well, the hood louvers. Color is showing up a little different on the camera here than in real, it's, you're seeing a little bit more bronze to it, but it's actually just charcoal. The lighting in here is a little funny with the camera, but they're done and I'm happy with them. Thank you very much to EnviroTech for powder coating all this stuff for me. 
I think this is going to be my final round of parts that we just got back from powder coat. I don't think we need to get any more stuff done. So sway bar, uh, these are back of the hood louvers. And this is to do with the hood louvers wiper cover. These parts came out so nice, guys. Tow hooks. Uh, this is braces to go with this. They go under the front core support. Uh, license plate bracket that I made here. And then uh, two fan shroud pieces. I like nice guys. I'm pretty excited. And this one is a big deal to me. Look at that. Powder coated. So that's about as durable as we're going to get it. And everything I think I asked them to do an epoxy powder coat underneath. So epoxy and then black. And the most durable black they had in a semi matte finish. License plate bracket is installed. It's a piece I made from scratch because I didn't have one and it just came back from powder coating. So we have this lock cylinder for the trunk and the seal is long gone. I've made a template to start. Piece of bike inner tube. We're going to try this, see if it works. It's rubber, it should keep water out. So, nice thing too is it's about the factory thickness and I can cut it with scissors. And there you go, installed. Looks clean and tidy and should keep the water out. Working on the hood louvers here. So we got the black pieces put in. I'm gonna screw them down and these are the other parts of them. They gotta, I think they clamp on the hood and they get rubbers that we gotta clean up. I'm honestly surprised this rubber's 50 years old, but look at it guys. They're all like that. I just cleaned them up with a bit of gun wash and they came right out. So I think I'm going to use this because these were originally glued to these. Put it on here, uh, follow the procedure or the steps needed, and then we'll bolt it to the car. And then these will stay glued on here. I think they go on like this. I got to double check it now. Well, that seems to work pretty good, guys. Contact cement holds these on fairly well. So I want to go put this on the car now and my louvers should be done. Got these in. I don't know if there, someone might be able to fill me in. There's a hole on the other side here, right in the vent. But are these functional? I have no idea. You guys can let me know in the comments, but there they are. I love working with powder coated parts. So there's our louvers on the hood. They look gorgeous. They work very well for the car. It's amazing how dusty the car gets just sitting in the shop and then rolling out back here but they're on thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today uh it feels good to get the progress that we have on this car done painting is done that's exciting the vinyl wrap it looks like it's worked well and it's going to be a long-term solution so that's exciting next time we're going to be doing some more assembly getting this car a little bit further together and i think it will be either we'll be doing some wiring or um yeah, we'll wire, get these lights working most likely is what you're going to see next time. Get all the wiring back in the car and stuff like that. So stay tuned. It should be fun. And uh, if you want to see more, feel free to just subscribe and hit that like button. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.